Hey guys. Um, okay, so I saw I saw Yaku's email just with regards to streaming with uh, students. I know that Lala and Carl mentioned Discord before, but it really does have a great feature that allows um, direct streaming of movies uh, without any lag. All right, so you'll see I've, I've just gone to the Discord app um, sort of website. I can either download it here for Mac or for, um, I can download the app for Windows as well, or I can simply open Discord straight away. So it can run through the web browser. Um, so we don't necessarily need to have like extra icons, anything like that. Uh, it is updated regularly. Um, you do need to create an account um, which is very quick and, and easy to do, very uh, completely free to do as well. Um, and then what we would go about doing is simply just adding friends. So when you create your account, um, you'll create like a username and you'll get your own little sort of hex code here at the bottom uh, and you can click to copy that. So um, if I were to search that, so that would be, uh, that would be a litmus. Um, and then I would, if I was searching to add a friend, I uh, would go hashtag, and then the number is 8147. All right, and then I can just hit up a send friend request. So I'm just running across two different accounts. Um, and uh, yeah, let me just sort of uh, explain the, the sort of thing here after I've added a friend. So here my, my invite is, boom, um, and now it gets added to my friends and I can direct message them as necessary. All right, so the cool thing about Discord is that um, in the home tab, we kind of see who I can send messages to. I can see who is sort of online for my friends here. Uh, I can start like new group DMs and I can also add a server. All right, so servers are essentially just like little chat rooms. Um, so if I were to add a server here, um, I could invite friends directly. So if I've already added all of my students, let's say to a, uh, a student server, um, I could add them directly here or I can just join a server um, you know, I could send a link to the students and they can join me directly. So I'm going to create a server. Um, I'm going to call this, for example, let's say FA screening. Um, it will automatically sort of like create an icon, which you can change by clicking on that and uploading your own. I'm going to create that. And um, immediately I have the pop up uh, for inviting friends. So here's my link, right? I can simply copy this to my students. Uh, it's either send it by email or link it on classroom and when they click on that it will automatically bring them inside of discord if they have uh, created an account um, and it will bring you to the correct server okay so you can see here there's my home icon where I was here's my FA screening server um, and uh, here I can as I've said I've got a couple of like voice channels so I can add myself here and uh, all my students can be in here as well um, down here at the bottom, sorry, I know this is all over the place. I'm kind of just pointing features out as I see them and remember. Um, I can unmute myself here. I also have the option to turn on cameras. Um, and I can also add rooms. So the, if I can kind of see here, I can create a channel over here. Um, let's call this a voice channel and we can then call this like lobby. So maybe this is where all the students meet um, in order to and I simply join by clicking and adding myself over here uh, and give um, and for, for microphone. Um, so I've added myself to this lobby. You'll see every time I talk, my indicator here changes. That's because I'm actually live in the chat. So perhaps I set up a lobby for where students to come just to get like uh, attendance out the way or a discussion beforehand so that there's no talk inside the actual movie. Uh, I'll create a channel for, again, let's call this a voice channel and we'll call this film screening. Uh, or, I mean, it's a room, let's call it theater, right? Might as well. Um, and I can go here and then screen my movie, all right? So regardless of where I am, my information with regards to the call is down here at the bottom left, all right? So it'll show that I am connected. I can end the call by simply connecting, right? You'll see that it boots me out of the theater, but I can simply jump back in again all right i have the option for video okay uh, which i need to allow my camera for so i can hello speak to everyone there uh check your beard nice and orange uh and i can end that by just turning off the camera um i can mute myself 
Uh, so I can mute myself in the in the call there. So um, I can talk to you know, whoever's here with me without interrupting that. And I can deafen, which means that if there's anyone talking in the chat and there's a lot of noise, I can simply turn that off and that will no longer come through. Okay. Now the biggest feature in terms of screening here is this screen option, right? Which is uh, fantastic. So if I, sorry, jump back into VLC uh, and let's just open up like one of my favorites. Let's go. Let's go Lilo and Stitch. All right, so if I've got Lilo and Stitch here, um, let's just continue with the playback there. Um, going into Discord, if I go to screen, again, I can allow that. All right, and it's going to then screen, ooh, Doppler effect there, uh, everything on my screen. All right, and you'll see that it says that I'm live. So the person who is streaming, it's going to stream whatever's on your screen. And for anyone else in this chat, they're going to be able to hover over your name and say join stream and then they will see everything on your screen. It works um, live. All right, it's a live update. So um, if I quickly just add uh, my other name there, so let's see what's here. Um, so I'm going to join. Then um, I have joined the theater. Let me just make sure that I'm not copying the channel. All right, so they'll get that link and uh, they will then join the voice call and um, okay, um, so if I were to quickly stop screening uh, on on this machine, um, let's just quickly, as I said, let's stop that stream. Stop stream. Okay, um, and then yeah, it'll ask like for the quality and stuff. So just to give you an idea, streaming across from the other machine. Um, let me say go live here. Uh, I'll just show um, on Windows we have the option to show like different windows or different screens. All right, so I'm going to go live here. You'll see that my other name there uh, has said now it's gone live, and I can join the stream simply. So I hover over the name here and click on Watch Stream, and it is uh, it is completely up, uh, sort of like in sync. It's live. I've just sort of you can see I'm I'm interacting in, in real time and my movies play in real time as well. It takes a little bit of work um, to balance out the, the audio of the film, all right? Um, which, which can be sort of a little bit of a frustrating experience, but once you get it right, uh, and once everyone is kind of just playing around with their sound levels, it'll work out just fine. If someone is very soft, if they can't hear you, you can always right click on their name and their user volume will determine how loud they are. All right, so usually like if I'm watching a film, I'll, um, I'll pump everyone's voices up to 100% here, and then I'll play a movie in the background with about 50%, which I set in VLC itself. All right, so you change the, 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 the audio of your stream in the program. So if you're streaming off of VLC or QuickTime, you'll adjust your volume there, and then they can play around with their own um, volume as necessary. You have options to kick and ban if you've got little sort of like little shits causing problems. Um, but yeah, those are there for you if necessary. Um, and yeah, hopefully that helps. So like I said, it's a little bit of a thing to set it up, but once you've got it, live updates, no issues from there. Um, and ooh, let's close that. <laughs> uh, live updates from there and uh, it works really well. So yeah, if this is something that you, you'd like to use, you can either just let me know or maybe Carl or Lala. I think they know the software a little bit better than I do. Um, but yeah, those are there for you if you would like to use them. Cool. Stay well and uh, I'll chat to you guys soon. Bye.